In the previous couple of videos, I've talked about how SQL Server stores data, how we can use fill factor to affect the way data is packed onto our data pages and the difference that makes. Well, now I want to show you the command dbcc show contig that lets you look under the hood and see exactly what's going on with your data storage on a table by table basis. And this can really help you as an administrator know how to manage both your, your maintenance, your daily maintenance, on your databases and how to really affect efficiency for your users. And this is, again, this is part of the reasons you make those big bucks, right? Well, let's go back to the extent just a second before I show you the command. And let's think about an extent here. Normally, you remember I mentioned in a previous video that we want our extents to be numbered in order. We want to be sitting out there on the disk in order so that we can just read from the extents as we need them. Well, from time to time, you will find that the extents become fragmented, very much like fragmentation on your hard drive. This is because of inserts, updates, deletes, and all that business. And you'll end up with something like this. Now, I've color-coded these extent numbers, red and blue, uh, just for uh, illustration purposes here. It's not quite this simple in real life. Nothing ever is, right? But notice what's happened. Some of our extents are out of whack, and they're out of order as well so that when we try to read just a straight eight extents to get, say, maybe 100 lines of uh, 100 rows of data, notice what happens. We're going to have to start here. We'll read this extent. Uh, I'm sorry, that data page. Then we go to this data page. Then we have to switch extents to go to this data page. Then we have to switch extents again to get this data page. Then switch extents again to get this one. Then come up here and get these two. Actually, we can get all three of these, can't we? So notice we've had one, two, three. We've had four extent switches to get those. Now, those are expensive because we've had to do a, a, a read here and here to get these extents into memory and then switch back and forth. So obviously, that's not cool. So we want to avoid that. Now, the way we avoid this is to rebuild our indexes and that puts all of our extents back in order, makes them contiguous within these, puts our data pages as contiguous within the extents. And at that same time, we determine how tightly to pack these pages, right? To determine whether we need to be putting more data into these pages or whether this is going to be more of a read-only type database, okay? Well, DBC Show Contig can really give us that information, and I want to show that to you now. So let's go to the um, Management Studio. Now, inside the Management Studio, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a query. We're going to do this with Transact SQL. And there is a table in AdventureWorks that I'm going to use here, and it's actually called Human Resources Employee. So what I'll do is I'll type Use AdventureWorks, and that's the sample database. And now I'll type the command dbcc show contig, I'll open parentheses, and just type the name of the table. Now, notice I had to use the schema name there for human resources because it's used there. And now I execute this, and notice what it does. It brings me back some information. Now, notice what all this tells you. This is fantastic data. First of all, it says, okay, when I run show contig, it scans through the table, and it gives me stats on what it found. First thing, it scanned seven pages, so I only read seven pages. Now, if you can picture that, there should be eight pages in an extent that only read seven. But notice here, it switched the extent three times. So what does that tell me? There's some fragmentation in my extents. Okay? Or the extents that were scanned were three. I'm sorry. Notice the extent switches were four. So to read seven pages that it should have found in one eight-page extent, it had to read three extents and had to switch between them four times. On the average, it found 2.3 pages per extent. So what's the scan density? 20% of the time it found what it was looking for, basically. The best count, it should have found it in one extent, took it five. Should have found it, I'm sorry, in one read, it took it five reads. The logical scan fragmentation, basically, I'm, I'm defragmented 57%. Then, the other good uh, information to see down here, the average free bytes per page is 172. My average page density, or what percentage full or is each page, 97.87%. Now, this becomes key. First of all, I can tell right up here, just by looking at 1 to 5 and 20%, that I have fragmentation. The indexes need to be re rebuilt here. And notice you can see the index ID that this ran on. Next thing, 
I can tell that I've got 172 free bytes per page and I'm packed at 97.87%. If this is a highly updated page then I'm packed too tight, I need to redo this. And so I'll rebuild the index and set a fill factor. And the fill factor is a number between 1 and 100, okay? Actually it's 0 but 100, but for now just stay with this. Go look at documentation. But maybe I want to set the fill factor at 70. That's 70%. So it'll we'll only pack at 70% full. So you see how you can use this to find out exactly what's going on with your data. Now, one other thing that you can do with this command is you can put with table results and execute it. And you'll notice it comes back a little different, but it's actually added nine more columns. I think it's nine more columns of data that you can see on it. So anyway, use DBC Show Contig. You can really get your hands around what's going on with your data and how it's being stored and how efficiently SQL Server is working to get your data back.